and welcome to a new series of the Jumpin' Hot Club. In part one, we meet Aeneas Mitchell, a formidable singer-songwriter from New York. Well, hello Aeneas, uh, thanks for coming again <laughs> to the North East. Uh, we've seen you many times and you're one of the only artists who still who stuck with her from being playing in the modern tower uh, still playing lots of gigs for you even though i know you played in the uh, royal albert hall not so long back <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah it's always so, great to come back here and great to work with you well time thanks, and again. And yes. yeah well uh, the feelings mutual you know mm -hmm. and i think you've, you've probably played as many venues as uh it's music I've put on anywhere, really, because I think you've, you've hit the, most of the venues that will work. And you've, you've <laughs> right, I'm surprised. There's yeah. a lot of diversity of yeah. rooms. Yeah. yeah, yeah. most of the gigs we're still putting on in them venues, apart from the Morden Tower, because uh, it, was a, it, it was done for um, unusual venues at the time. And I, I can just vaguely remember you playing there, to be honest. Uh, it's just so long ago, but yeah. uh, you yeah. reminded us. Yeah, you I remember it too. It might have been 10 years ago. Well, that's got to be, hasn't it? I don't know. That it's, seems long, but yeah. I, I remember it was my first time to Newcastle. Right. And I, and I didn't even know. what there. Apparently there were two Newcastles. Right. And I didn't oh. know which one it was. Right, there's one in Ireland. Oh, is that right? <laughs> is there not another one in England somewhere? Uh, I think there is, yeah. There's Newcastle-upon-Tyne, and yeah, then there's another, another Newcastle. One, yeah. one. And I, yes. I was like, which which one is it? And um, and then I just remember I was on the train yeah. and trying to find the Morden Tower. Oh, dear. And, um, that made some artists cry, trying to find that. Oh, yeah. They were actually in tears when the, <laughs> the, 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 it was so hard to find. It's on the city walls, if anyone's never been there. And it is like... Yeah. It's in the back of Stowell Street, and so you've got to go th past all the rats and everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was another reason why we, we don't put things on there anymore because people complained. But it's a it's a unique place. I mean, yeah. all the ports and you know the writers and everybody right. used to um, used to go there. It was beautiful, know. and was it unamplified? Maybe. Yeah. 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 It's so rare to get to play a gig like that now. Yeah. You know. uh, un unamplified and really, really cold. You have to <laughs> jump around in your five I'm hats. And, yeah. yeah. And then I think we went to the pub after that. I can't remember. I'm you know, sure we done. did. <laughs> <laughs> but um, from there to um, to play in Royal Albert Hall, must have, you know, mm. I mean, you, you've done all your work in the UK and, you know, you're well established now in, you know, folk awards and stuff like that. So, you know. We're proud of you doing that as well, Anias, even oh, though we're, thanks. you know, you're from over the water. And that, yeah, you're still so proud sweet. Of you. So sweet. You know, well, yeah. it's really gratifying always to play over here. This, yeah. From the very first time I came, I felt like the, the audience was listening in a way that was special yeah. and different from the States. So it was just a real sort of uh, patience and um, attention span <laughs> and... Uh, You've and a love of, of, of story, you know, story yeah. songs. Well, a lot of your songs are like short stories, aren't they? I mean, mm. and, uh, you know, obviously you've got a lot of poetry and stuff in, in, in your songs and that. So we do appreciate that. I mean, that's, that's, that's mm. what we're like listening to. And um, the song that we're going to uh, put on this show is called Shepherd. And it, we've got the clip's been taken from uh, a nice plane in a... Um, I don't know, is it New York or something? In an office, anyway. You know what? It's the, it's the NPR offices in Washington, D.C. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so tell us about Shepard. I, I know it was it was something about your, your father. Your father was a uh, writer was, as well as a uh -huh. farmer, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he... Um, my parents were like uh, hippie back to the landers. You know, right. they they came from the suburbs and they, they became hippies and, and they... Um, my dad uh, wrote novels as a young man, and wow. both my parents moved to the countryside and, wow. and bought a farm, and that was a, sort of the thing to do at that, at that time, the <laughs> 60s, 70s. And, um, and so this um, book that my dad wrote um, was based on some of his experiences of, of being a shepherd, having sheep, right. but it was a made-up story okay. um, about a farmer um, who was trying to bring in a crop of hay and and then his wife um, is in labor with their child, and then um, 
and she dies in childbirth. And this is the beginning of the book that right. yeah. that my dad wrote. And um, and so the song is like the ballad version of my dad's book. The ballad version. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Well, we'd we'll love to hear it, and it's uh, coming up soon. Said the shepherd to his wife, the crop of hay is cut and dry. I'll bail it up and bring it in before the coming storm begins. Go, she said, and beat the storm, and then there is another chore. Today the baby will be born. You'll take me to the hospital. Said the shepherd, if it's true.
nowhere to go but up from that one. <laughs> um, it's really a pleasure to be here at the NPR mothership. We've never been here before. This is Michael Chorney, my friend. Um, Coming up in part two, we have local singer-songwriter Nev Clay, followed by an interview and live performance from longtime friends of the Jumpin' Hot Club, Martin Stevenson and the Toe Rags. So pour some more of whatever you drink and we'll see you after the break. Watch a sweet misdemeanor. Oh!